Recall from 4.2.5 that a karyotype is an image where chromosomes are arranged in homologous pairs according to their size and structure. In this video we will look at different human karyotypes to see if they belong to a male or a female and analyse whether non-disjunction has occurred. In this first karyotype we can see that all of the chromosomes exist in pairs, therefore non-disjunction has not occurred. Pair number 23, the sex chromosomes, show an X and a Y, the Y being the shorter chromosome. Therefore, this karyotype belongs to a male. In this second karyotype, we can see that chromosome number 21 has three copies, known as trisomy 21. This results in Down syndrome and shows us that non-disjunction has occurred on chromosome number 21. This image gives us an example of both male and female sex chromosomes, XY being male and XX being female. Any one individual's karyotype would have one or the other of those. Here's another example, and in this one you can see all the chromosomes in pairs except for the sex chromosomes. In that pair there is only an X, another X or Y is missing. Therefore, non-disjunction has occurred in the sex chromosomes, resulting in just one X chromosome. This is represented as XO and results in Turner syndrome. With only one X chromosome and no Y chromosome, these individuals are genetically female. In this final example, we can see all of the chromosomes in pairs, except when you look at the sex chromosomes, you'll see there's an extra X chromosome, making the genotype XXY. Therefore, non-disjunction has occurred in the sex chromosomes and XXY results in Klinefelter syndrome. Due to the presence of the Y chromosome, these individuals are genetically male. 